Hi there, this is Roblox user Crazeman32 here. Uh, this is part two of my plane making tutorial for a, making a Roblox plane. Uh, in the last tutorial, we went over just on uh, how to build the plane and covering the three main specific parts the pilot seat, engine, and view. Uh, in the last tutorial, I forgot to mention to make the view part non can collidable. So just make sure can collide property here is not selected. Um, you might want to make it transparent too if you want. In this tutorial I'm going to uh, cover welding the plane together. So for this we're actually going to write a script, a weld script, uh, that will automatically loop through and iterate through all the parts in the plane automatically and weld them all together where they are. This is a really cool thing, really cool method uh, that you can use so you don't have to like memorize or figure out all of the specific C-frame values of all the parts or anything. The script will just handle it all by itself, um, which makes building planes a lot easier since you don't have to pay attention to those sort of things. So to uh, start off, just uh, throw in a new script into your plane model. Uh, just name it like weld to keep things organized. Uh, I always kind of title my scripts. Today's August 28th. Um, and to start off, just uh, create a single function. Let's we'll call this weld. And just call it right away. Actually, give it an argument script.parent for the plane. Uh, this will be our recurs recursive function here. Um, what this function will do is scan through an entire model and then it will scan through any other parts that it finds. In doing so, you end up scanning through every single part. So, and give it parameter parent. Uh, we should also mark the uh, weld to part. this will be the part that all the other parts are welded to. So back to your weld function here, just uh, we'll loop through with a uh, for each loop or blank V, just a classic setup, and pairs, parent, get child, new, and oops. Alright. So this will loop through all the the direct descendants in the model. So we start out by looping through the plane model. And what this will do right now is simply go to this object, this object, this object. Nothing fancy yet. Uh, <clears throat> so to call to make this more recursive again, we're gonna call weld again on every object it finds. So now once it gets to weld, it'll say, alright. Weld everything inside the script. Obviously, there's nothing in it, so I'll just stop. Then we'll go to functions and say, weld everything in the function thing. <clears throat> so I'll call weld again on the functions model, which will then scan through everything in here. And those have no children, so it's not going to do anything. And we'll go to parts, and I'll scan through all the parts, and so forth. So it creates this deep recursion that will go until it doesn't find anything else, basically. And then uh, we have to add a simple condition check to make sure we actually are looking at a part because you don't want to try to weld a model or a, or a light or something weird like that. That's not going to work. Uh, so a simple way to check if uh, it's any sort of part, whether it's a part, a corner part, a wedge, etc. Uh, we can just say if V is a base part, then... So this will just check to make sure that the part is actually a physical 3D object that you can see in the game, like your base plate or something like that. Um, then we need to create the weld object itself. So keeping it simple again, local w equals new instance. Um, you don't have to name it, I'm just going to. Um, and this is where things get uh, kind of fun. 
<laughs> always set your in this method always set your part zero to the weld to part always set your part one to the object that you're welding which in this case is V that's our variable there and then set your CO to or C0 or whatever to the weld to C frame inverse it's the inverse of the C frame in fact if you really want to make this more efficient it's just going to do very minor things it won't do much you could technically say weld to CF equals that that way you're not trying to get the inverse every single part in some cases that might cause even more damage than anything since you're creating a new variable and everything but it should be okay so moving on uh, then you set your C1 to your V's inverse C frame and then you have to set its parent the weld's parent really doesn't matter um, it's probably easier just to put it in the weld twos part uh, that's the simplest way to do it but yeah the parent of the weld does not matter but I do recommend putting it inside the model itself yes so this is your uh, tricky little method right here and what this will do is automatically weld the parts together in their current orientation the next step is to uh, unanchor all the parts since right now they're all anchored so now that we have them all welded let's unanchor the plane uh, so to make it a little easier on the script um, we're gonna create a little table here called parts Um, sorry, let me go back here really quick. In this condition, you might also want to add, or you do want to add, and V is not equal to weld to, because you don't want to weld the part that you're welding everything to. It won't necessarily do anything um, that I know of, but it's just kind of counterproductive. So create your parts table right here. Obviously, throw in welds too because you want because that's not going to be scanned through here. Um, and then after you create the weld here, add that in the parts. So uh, basically, your weld function here is going to also collect all the parts and throw it into this table. And your final function here would be called well, really. Probably better not to even make a table or a function. Just throw it after here. Just uh, again scan through that new table parts, like so, and just say v dot anchored equals false, and just get rid of the script after that. That's simple. So just a quick recap, you have your weld function, and this is a recursive function that will iterate through every single part in your plane, and it will check to see if those are actual parts, and if it is, it will weld that to the engine. And then as it does that, it collects all the parts it finds and throws it into this table here. After everything is welded, it then scans through that table and unanchors all the parts it found. And finally, the script destroys itself. So to uh, test it out, I'm going to do a little drop test here. And just, pl oh, I'm going to go solo here. And the plane should follow the ground in one piece. <laughs> I think it worked. And there you go.